Hello, great you. Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love, the Church. So, Apostle Joshua Selman, as he was preaching in Ghana, he did an altar call, and what really happened touched his heart as a little boy uh, came forward to make a decision to accept the Lord Jesus into his heart and life. So, let's get into it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. God bless you, and may this encourage you. Never cheapen and downplay salvation, never exalt miracles above salvation never exalt prophecy above soul winning never exalt giving above soul winning in order of divine priority the greatest miracle the greatest expression of love for jesus is to see soul saved hallelujah thank you ladies and gentlemen for summoning the courage to come and stand before jesus in the presence of your entire beautiful and lovely nation here's what my bible says as many who will come to him that he will in no wise cast away god laid it in the hand in the heart of his eminence to put forth this prophetic convocation and look the harvest that has come because of one man's obedience to jesus to jesus someday we will be in heaven and when i turn to my left or my right i will see someone smiling at me and say but i do not know you and he will say you do not need to know me the only thing you will tell me is i am so glad you came thank you for giving to the lord i am alive that was changed thank you for giving to the Lord I am so glad you came before I pray for these people I want to say thank you to every sincere and every true man of God and woman of God that has labored and continue to labor in the nation of Ghana for the gospel. Seen and unseen, on air, on TV, or otherwise, leading a crowd of people or leading a few people, the church is a light in any nation. And I want to tender my salutations, even on behalf of Jesus, the captain of our salvation, for the one person who prayed and still prays for the one person who gave and still gives for the one person who invited members to church and continues to invite for the intercessors that may never be seen who pray day and night that his program comes to pass for the ministers who labor day and night shelving away their own pain to see that the program of god does not fail may the lord bless you and may the lord honor you in the name of jesus brothers and sisters please lift your right hand high above your head say this after me before jesus the one whom you stand before not joshua selman the one who is greater the one who called us say jesus tonight i declare that i love you with all my heart i declare that you are the son of the living god I declare that you are my king, you are my savior, you are my Lord. From tonight and forever, I declare my life is yours. The power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Father, thank you for these blessed people who have come declaring your Lordship over their lives. I pray in the name of Jesus that the grace that keeps, may that grace keep them. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. And I declare over you that from tonight, you go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name. Hang on for a minute. Please bring this little boy for me. There is a very little boy that I see here. I am so touched and honored. Come. 
this is a very very little boy i saw him kneeling and joining in the prayer come my dear son look at this i don't know whose son this is but what a miracle i believe that this boy is representing the next generation of people who love jesus in ghana I was so touched while others were praying. How old are you? Eight. You are eight years. Yes. What is your name? Edwin. Edwin. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Listen to me. I pray that God will make him a mighty man of God. That someday you will stand like I'm standing now and you will preach Jesus to the nations. That someday this young boy i do not know him that god will announce him to the nations let me encourage the parents and the family of this boy train him well let him represent i believe that his coming is a prophetic message to ghana that you will not lose your future in the name of jesus and i pray for you i pray for you that you will love jesus that you will do well in school that you will be an obedient young boy that God will find you like he found Samuel and you will and be a will mighty be. vessel in his hand may God bless you in Jesus name give him a big God bless you hallelujah now for all of you who are here please may I request that you move this way to my right which will be your left the counselors will have a word with you very quickly and then you are back to your seat let's honor them as they go very quickly hallelujah I have the honor one last time okay let's receive the offerings again like we did yesterday it's time to give our offerings I have the honor to receive our offerings one last time before we're done please package your offerings very quickly and then I speak over them this will be my final assignment by the way I was talking with his eminence while I sat down and he